everything's going to be all right, as long as we don't panic. Drive forward. Piss off! What are we going to do? We can't just sit here. Just let me think. Oh, for God's sake. Wait here, I'll go talk to him. No! no! Just, just drive forward a bit. <laughs> About that. We'll be here all bloody day at this rate. Well, what do you want me to do? Hang on, look. Throw out your weapons. Are you checking the piss? Don't antagonise them. Throw something out. What am I supposed to throw out? Anything. Just do as he says. Step out of the car, slowly. Okay. After three, we're all gonna get out the car. Stay together, no sudden movements. One. Two. Oh, sod this for a game of soldiers. Mother, what are you doing? What the frig are you doing? Dragging us all out here to the arse end of nowhere. You might enjoy pissballing about playing cowboys and Indians, but personally, I've got bigger fish to fry. Ma'am, these are dangerous people. Please let Mick deal with it. Dangerously stupid. Look at him. When you're as fat as that, the last thing you want to be wearing in this weather is a three-piece suit. This is not a three-piece suit. It's a two-piece. Oh, Jesus. God. Well, why are you wearing a tie? You're sweating like a pig on a spit. It was not that hot when I left home this morning. And why on earth are you wearing that colour? Don't tell me it's slimming, because I've got news for you. That suit's black, not black magic. It's a work suit. I wear what I'm told to wear. Come on, you loud! I can't listen to any more of this rubbish. Now listen. Have you got my money, or haven't you? Sorry. Am I talking to myself? Are you Mr. Pink? Yes. And before you ask me, no, it is not my real name. And yes, I did choose it. That was my money. I haven't got it. Uh, we have got it, just not here. So, we didn't know this way for nothing. Do you know how much petrol these things get through? I am lucky if I'm getting six miles to the gallon. Do you accept visa? Yes, of course we do. Will you wait here for me while I just sneak back to the office and get the machine? Of course we don't accept fucking visa! What do you think you are? John Lewis! Do you accept PayPal? I don't believe I'm hearing this. What the bloody hell's PayPal? Oh, it's brilliant. I use it to pay for stuff. I've won on eBay. You know, stuff for a couple of quid. You don't want to use your credit card. All right! Oh. That's enough! Yuri, get in the car with them. We're taking them to the track. I have told you, sir. Do not excite yourself. You have had a long week. I know. I know, Yuri. I did too much. Yes, sir. Get in the car. Move. We are going to track. All right. Just get in. Just get in. Excuse me, woman down to Thursday. I am not working today. You don't seem to do much work any day. It shouldn't stop you passing me a vodka coke. Did you see what happened at the pool today? I've seen that blow getting dragged out by his feet. Has he sued you, yeah? He was not doing the aerobics class when he went under the water. Yeah, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Maybe if you were a witness, if you say you saw everything, we could come to some kind of uh, arrangement. Yeah, no worries. Fifty euros and I'll say I pushed him under. Well, I don't have money. 
but I could pay you in another way. Really? Oh, yes. It could be a very, very big payday for you if you say the right things. Oh, and if only you could say the right things, you probably wouldn't be a sad, lonely old, leathery-faced waiter cleaning up other people's shite. I am not a waiter. I am a barman. Stop looking at me, ass. Look, mate, what's happening? What are we doing here? We said we can pay you money, just not today. And before you say anything, this is 90 calories. Just call the police. What, 40 pence a minute? I mean, it's, it's not the money. We don't know the number, do we? What the hell's going on here? I don't remember saying that we were having lollies. Sorry, sir. I was going to get you one when you came out. I, I did not want it to melt. Forget it. Get me my helmet. Yes, sir. Mr. Pink wants his helmet. What are we doing here? I am going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. I've always wanted to say that. Now, in this moment in time, thanks to your late husband, you owe me 3,000 euros. She doesn't owe you a cent. You can't pass on a debt without telling someone. I know all about it. Never a lender or a borrower be. Many a mickle makes a muckle. I see you brought your legal representative with you. So what's this offer then? Very simple. Double or quits. Shove it. Oh, for crying out loud, mother. Right. Ten laps around the track. If I win, your debt doubles. If I lose, you walk away from here debt free. This is a bloody cinch. You're hitting me on a go-kart, I'm like shit off a stick. You got yourself a deal! Oh, no, 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 no! Not you! I want a racer! rent a gob. You what? Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing ridiculous about it. Give me an helmet, I'll run rings around him. If it is a him. Mother, you're not racing in a car. Mick, tell her, she'll break her neck. Well, if she wants to have a go. Do your worst. Oh, no. I intend to do my best. Which will leave you six grand in debt. We are in trouble. Why don't I make this even more interesting? If I win, I get to clear my debt and get another 3,000. If you win, we owe you ten grand. <laughs> I've made easy money before. <laughs> But this is taking the piss. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Start the engines! Mr. Castellanos, I need you to clear out your locker. Oh. And leave the premises. Jenny, why would you be like this? I'm sorry, but I'm just covering my back. Jenny, let me get this straight. You're worried that the guy nearly drowned as a direct result of doing the water aerobics class. That's what happened. I spoke to Mrs. Stewart's wife before they left for the hospital. Now, what if I can prove otherwise? What's this? J. Iglesias, solicitors. The logo's a bit wonky. Well, he's a mate of mine. He's just starting out, like, you know. I, the undersigned, hereby confirm that I was witness to the fact that Mr. Donald Stewart was not participating in the Solana Water Aerobics. Moreover, I also confirm that Mr. Stewart was talking to myself at the side of the pool prior to the accident, complaining about his long-term ill health, signed M. Garvey. Who, who's M. Garvey? You know, that rough family, always sitting up in the top corner. Can we narrow it down a bit? All right. Well, I suppose we're covered with this if the man from Atlantis tries to make a claim. Can I keep this copy? Absolutely. This means I can stay, Janie. Put your shirt on. And no more saving people in a sweaty vest. Thank you, Janie. Thank 
And don't forget your name badge. Thank you, Leslie. No worries, Paul. Let's just say you owe me one. Absolutely. Hey, but how did you get this signed? Family in the corner, they went away today. Uh, not all of them. six grand. Don't say that. She's getting going now. She might catch up. How's she gonna catch up? If she goes any slower, she'll be going bloody backwards. Slowly, slowly, catch your monkey. What the bloody hell does that mean? You know, fight the tortoise and the hen, and mother's the tortoise. How is the fact that your mother looks like a tortoise gonna help her win a bloody go-kart race? <gasps> Come on, ma'am! Put your foot down, my God! Please! gonna find six thousand euros well it could be worse how on earth could it be worse could have been ten thousand <laughs> 